Good afternoon. ERC has a long history with Ebola and outbreaks in general. Over the years, there has been tremendous progress in our ability to respond to these multiple threats. We are currently responding to our 10th Ebola outbreak. So far, 150 cases have been reported and 100 people died, which is three times bigger than the previous outbreak in the Equatorial province. There are at least four factors that can explain this huge difference. The outbreak occurred in a densely populated area. The population in that region is extremely mobile as they are traders. There are good road connections that facilitate transport of people between general, several cities. And the security situation in that region is also tense and volatile. In view of these challenges, we had to significantly step up our response and use all the new tools at our disposal. These new tools include the experimental vaccine that help us break the transmission chain more quickly. More than 11,000 people at risk have already been vaccinated. The experimental therapeutics to treat patients in Ebola treatment centers and the use of data and digital tools to better track and map where cases are occurring. DRC government remains deeply committed to continuing to improve our ability to respond to outbreaks and hence play our role in the global health security agenda. We are glad we can count on the continued support of our partners and the international community not to stop, not only to stop this outbreak, but also ensure that we are working together as a global community to collectively get better at preventing outbreaks in the future.